Good morning, Art family. We're out here on the porch today. This morning, it's a kind of a dreary and rainy fall morning. Uh, I wanted to make a special art video for you guys this week, so I put two videos together for you guys. Yeah, so when the first video comes to an end and I say I see you guys next week, there's a little intermission where we read one of my poems that I wrote when I was younger. I actually got it published. Let's see if you guys can figure out what it's about. But uh, I might tell you guys next week. But anyway, after the poem, then there's another week's episode. I put two weeks' episodes together this week for you guys. And I just wanted to do this for you guys because some of you guys really look forward to being here to enjoy these videos. And I wanted to do a longer, spend a little more time with you guys this week. So I really have no words to say how much I appreciate your guys love for my art channel and all your support i thank you guys so much and i hope you enjoy this week's video thanks for watching everybody i'll see you guys next week all right art family we are starting a new drawing series today i'm really excited about this we're going to draw easy art for big money so i'm going to go on the computer and i'm going to look up some art that's sold for a lot of money and then we're going to sit down at the table and make it together so i'm really excited get your markers and your paper ready and let's get started Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you a drawing on the computer and the price that it sold for, and then we're going to draw it. We're going to do about five of these today. Let's get started. All right, we're starting with the lowest price of sale first. This one sold for $160. It's a little bluish sketched out face. Let's try this one. All right, everybody, we are starting our first uh, money-making drawing today. I already started kind of lightly sketching this one in just to kind of get started here because I don't want to spend too much time because we're doing five drawings today. This is the first one. This one sold for 500 some, or no, this one sold for almost $200. So we're just putting a little bit of extra ink on this one. We've just about got this one done. I did a little bit off camera because I don't want to spend too much time. Let's put a little extra darker ink on here. I hope you guys are, uh, you know, I, I decided I wanted to do this because I wanted to inspire you guys and show you that we don't have to complicate art. Although I don't want to, um, you know, this art, this art is good. I mean, it doesn't, because it's simple or easy doesn't mean it's bad. That's the one thing I want you guys to be able to understand because it, it if we can just kind of simplify our art and not spend, not complicate things, make it more childlike, that's when when you can be happy and free with your art and you can make a lot of money. That's what I'm trying to show you guys today. So the art that these people made, I think it's awesome. It's really good. So you guys, we're just kind of darkening this up real quick and just kind of showing how that face we looked at. And here we go. We kind of have a face that looks just about like what that guy did on that drawing. He had a little bit of hair coming across the brow, if I remember right. And we got the nose and everything. So anyway, just a simple face that you guys can do easily at home with some just some markers. Let's move on to our next drawing. Just wanted to show I threw a couple extra loops and some extra darker lines on the face just to make it look a little bit more artsy. Let's move on to the next one. The price is going up on these, you guys. This one sold for $550. Let's see if we can make this little painting. All right, to accomplish this second piece that sold for $500, we're using a little bit of white modeling clay today. And as you guys can see, I've already started. This is what makes that texture on there. Or you could use white as a palette knife. I'm not gonna spend the time and cover this whole thing, but this is how you could accomplish this. So you guys saw that was just white texture. That whole painting was done with white. So I'm just taking little pieces of uh, white modeling clay. You guys have seen me paint with clay before. That's my thing. I used to always paint with clay. So you could, you could take your time and cover this whole a little canvas, uh, the painting that we're, we're trying to show is was eight inches by eight inches. So this one's a little bit smaller and that sold for uh, over $500. So just, this is the way you could do it. I'm just showing you guys just a quick example. So you just take a piece and ball that up in your finger. We're not gonna spend much time on this and we're not gonna cover this whole thing. And the price may justify the, the, the guy's time, especially would be if you had to cover the whole thing in clay, but Anyway, that's, that's an idea how this one would work. You could just sit there and cover this whole thing in pieces of clay all the way to, 
from line to line and all the way down and you'd have it just about exactly like what that drawing looked like. Isn't that cool, you guys? All right, let's move on to the next drawing. We're just gonna go through these kind of quickly. Okay, so we're moving up a bit in price. This one sold for $845. Let's see if we can manage to draw this one. Okay, Art Family, are you guys ready to get rich? All you need is a black marker and a piece of white paper and you just start drawing loops. That's what that last picture was, right? Almost $1,000 for loops that go kind of diagonal. Am I getting close? Turn that broadside marker, just turn it on its side and make loops like this. Some of them were bigger and you'd probably, I think that painting was a lot bigger too and the lines were a little bit thicker. So you might want to go oh, like really go around your line to get some thicker black lines. But look at that so fast. We just drew all those loops. We tried to draw a painting just like the one we saw in the picture. I think we got pretty close in a matter of seconds. Give, give us a thousand dollars. All right, let's move on to the next one. We've gone up much higher in price. This one is selling for $2,470. Let's try to draw this. All right, everybody got your black marker ready. We're gonna to try to make that $2,500 painting. All right, so you start at the bottom of your piece of paper, turn your marker on side, we're just gonna keep looping, looping up and down. I'm gonna make these very fun to draw and very relaxing. I like to do a full size painting like this. So you get your loops all done. And then you just want to come across it with some lines to, to create your squares, which we're going to end up coloring in. We'll just draw a few lines across it. And then we're going to take some colors and color these squares in. It'll be really cool. So relaxing and so much fun to draw, do a drawing like this. I hope you guys are drawing along today and enjoying these awesome art ideas. So after you get your drawing done, which you have these bold black lines, you can't color over them. So you just take uh, some colors like we saw in the drawing. We're just gonna color in a, a couple of these squares. Start with a little green, a little bit of yellow. Pretty amazing, I mean, you could draw nine pages of this and tape it together and have a huge painting of this, a huge drawing of this and frame it and put it on your wall, you guys. We might do that in one of these art episodes where we make, make this drawing, because I really enjoy drawing it. So we just have a couple more colors on here. We're gonna put a little yellow orange on here, right here maybe. And maybe a little bit of purple. It looks really cool. I think it's the colors combination that the artist used and the, the way the lines kind of curve across each other. All right, here we go. Give us our $2,500. All right, we're going to move on to the last drawing. You guys won't believe how much it's sold for and, and how easy it is. Let's check it out. Well, here's our most high-priced sale of the day. This, uh, this one went for $4,050. Let's see if we can draw this one. Well, here we are. We made it to our final drawing, you guys. We just grab a piece of white chalk and just kind of, just kind of, we're gonna blend this in into this piece of black paper so that it kind of makes it look like a chalkboard. Then we'll draw our lines over the top of it. Yeah, that drawing there sold for $4,000. Well, actually, I don't think that was a drawing. I bet that was a full-size painting that hung above someone's couch. It was probably done with paint. So, you guys, I'm just showing you guys ideas with different art mediums today, but uh, you can kind of see where, hey, if that's as big as something that would hang above a couch where you can get that kind of money, I say go for it. By all means, if you guys can make that kind of money making simple art, let's not overcomplicate it. That's what today's all about. So we got our background drawn, and we're just going to draw some. I saw some loops in there, so we'll just draw a couple loops like that. And then there was a lot of crisscrossing lines, just a lot of spread out lines like and I don't have that piece of that art that we looked at was probably huge. So I don't know if I have the room to actually try to draw that many kind of lines like that. But there are lines just kind of spread out. And there were some thin lines like this. And then there was a lot of loops. So it was just a lot of like this. And let's put another one on here. We'll cross this one. Just some little, a lot of just markings. And then well, let's put another good loop, a couple loops on this one. Well, yeah, just like that, you guys, that's that's kind of what it looked like. So, but you should play around. You could do a bunch of these drawings because they're so fast. Well, you guys, I hope you liked being here and drawing along with me today. I really appreciate it. And I had fun with this. I really had a lot of fun making this, making this art with you guys today. We're just kind of finishing this one up, make it, maybe draw it in a little bit better. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys did too. 
I appreciate you guys being here and uh, drawing along. Well, as, and as always, I hope this art inspires you and you feel creative. Get your art supplies out and draw yourself something beautiful today. You know, as, as I always say, you guys, if you want to see this series continue, let me know. I'd like to continue this where we look up drawings and then try to try to do them our, on our own at the table. I think that would be a lot of fun. If you guys like the art and content on my channel, uh, please consider uh, subscribing and maybe liking and sharing this with your friends. I've been doing this for about a year now, and I, I really enjoy it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next week. The Wax Maker Finale. Flickering is my candlelight, bickering is the waxwork fight. Presence of fire, calm and jewel, tormenting the wax, for the wax, oh the wax is no fool. The skin of the wick, soft from the flame above, begins its mouth throwing wax like a floating dove. Twisting into a thickening sea, the flame distorts my candle, the shadows deform me. That wax now powerful the change to be. Only a small flame sits upon a waxy sea. A jealous smile now forms the flame, painfully knowing it will suffer the same. All right, welcome back, our family. This is going to be another one of those fun art episodes. First, we're going to step outside into on a beautiful day. I show five giant marker paintings to get you guys inspired. And then we're going to come back inside and do some drawing at the table. I'm going to show you guys how you can use washable markers to do to stain your paper using water. You can turn washable markers into watercolor paint. All right, let's get started and have some fun. Hello everyone, welcome to my art channel. Just wanted to show you guys today how I make huge paintings using only a $2 box of Crayola markers. But let's get started, I'll show you some of my artwork. This is one of the paintings that I did recently. I'm gonna have to hold these way up in the air so you guys can see them okay. Be like that. But it's just some emoji faces and some kind of a uh, cool little colors on there that spin around spiral yeah the way that I do these is I lay the marker on its side and I spin the paper I sometimes will draw a sketch first yeah let me show you guys another awesome one um, at the end of the video I'll show you guys how some of the tips on how I make these awesome marker paintings yeah, many of you guys may have seen these that already are subscribers on the channel. Some of my beautiful paintings that I make with uh, Crayola markers. Just showing you guys this today to inspire you. Hope you guys can get your markers and your crayons out and go out to the table and do some coloring and drawing today. Yeah, that's another pretty one. I love how the colors all came together on that one. I hope you guys can see these okay. This one here is really amazing. Took a little while to make it, but it's all faces. I think there's a hundred faces on here. Maybe not quite that many, but I'll stand up and show you guys. Isn't that cool? I'll show, I'm gonna show how to draw this on one of the videos. I do drawing tutorials on my channel. If you guys are interested and like this art that you're seeing, maybe like and subscribe so you can watch me show how to draw these, do these drawings. Let me get you an, get another one and show you guys. This one took a while to color, but it was, it was worth it because it sure came out cool as so, thousand wavy checkers i used to have those shoes back in the day for skateboarding shoes called vans so i was kind of inspired by uh vans skateboard shoes i hope you guys can see this okay it took a while to color that one in but i only had to use two colors that was just black and red all right we got one more and then i'll show you guys how i make these paintings a little couple tips of course, this is the best marker drawing that I've ever drawn. I saved the best for last, you guys. So many beautiful, bright colors layered over the top of each other. I started with a background of light, light, bright colors, and then did some swirls and hearts and stuff. Just a beautiful piece of marker graffiti right there. Well, I hope you guys like that. Let me show you guys real quickly how uh, some tips on how I make these paintings so you guys can see. So first tip I would say that you need is... Uh, a really smooth drawing drawing mat like this so that you can spin the paper and you don't run over any uh, ridges or texture or any hard surface you have a real smooth surface so you can spin the paper so I suggest number one getting a drawing board this has like a grid on the other side of it you can use both sides the other thing that I would suggest is when you buy your paper I get the cheapest paper like 
300 sheets of paper for $2 or something like that at Dollar General, but you want real thin paper. Hear, hear how thin that is? It'll make your ink and your markers last a lot longer. And uh, so just get the thin paper. First get a dry mat and then get the thin paper. And then the other thing to do is you, when you have your marker, you don't want to paint with the tip straight down. Turn it on its side and use the broad side of your marker. That's why Crayola Broadline markers can become an art master, artist's, they can create masterpieces if you turn it on its side. That's when you unlock a world of possibilities. So yeah, those three tips is get a drawing mat, get real thin paper so your ink lasts longer, and turn your marker on its side. And pretty soon before you know it, you guys will be making these amazing marker paintings too. Well, as always, you guys, I hope this art inspires you and you feel creative. Get your art supplies out and draw yourself something beautiful today. And uh, if by chance you like the art and content on my channel, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Come and check out all the videos. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys on the next one.
Love and peace to you, my friend.